Did you know that 60% of adults worldwide are not financially literate, exposing them to higher financial risks? That's right, more than half the people on this planet are navigating the treacherous waters of personal finance without a compass. It's a bit like trying to play chess without knowing what the pieces do. You're more likely to get checkmated before you even realize the game has begun. So, what's the big deal about financial risk? Well, imagine you're on a tightrope, balancing your financial goals on one hand and your current resources on the other. The wind blowing against you? That's financial risk. Unpredictable, often invisible, but with the potential to knock you off balance. In the world of personal finance, risk refers to the uncertainty that surrounds financial decisions. It's the potential for an investment to not pan out as expected, or the possibility of an unexpected expense cropping up and throwing your carefully planned budget out of whack. Risk is like that uninvited party guest who eats up all your snacks, drains your punch bowl, and then breaks your favorite lamp. Annoying, right? But just like how you can't control who crashes your party, risk is an inherent part of personal finance. It's not something you can eliminate, but it's definitely something you can manage. Different people perceive risk differently. For some, investing in stocks might seem like a thrilling roller coaster ride, while for others, it's more like a terrifying plunge into an abyss. That's because our individual goals, circumstances, and even our personalities influence how we perceive and tolerate risk. So, understanding financial risk is not just about recognizing the factors that could potentially harm your financial health, it's also about knowing yourself, your goals, and how much uncertainty you're comfortable with. It's about learning to dance with the wind on that financial tightrope, instead of being blown away by it. So, risk is an unavoidable part of personal finance, but understanding it can turn the tables in your favor. It's a bit like knowing the chess pieces. Once you understand how they move, you can strategize, plan, and increase your chances of winning the game. So what are these risks lurking in your financial journey? Well, let's dive in, shall we? Imagine you're on a treasure hunt. The treasure is your financial goal and the path to it is fraught with risks. Some risks are like slippery slopes, others are like hidden traps, and some are like fire-breathing dragons. Okay, maybe not dragons, but you get the idea. The first type of risk we'll discuss is market volatility. Picture this, you've invested in stocks and it's all rainbows and butterflies until, out of nowhere the market decides to take a roller coaster ride. The value of your investments can fluctuate wildly, and if you're not prepared, it can feel like you're trying to hold on to a bull in a china shop. Next, let's talk about the risk of job loss. It's like walking on a tightrope without a safety net. One moment you're earning a steady income, the next you're not. This can drastically affect your ability to save, invest, and even meet your daily expenses. Then there are unexpected expenses. These are like the surprise tests we all dreaded in school. Your car breaks down, your roof starts leaking, or you need an emergency medical procedure. These unforeseen expenses can throw your financial plan off course faster than a hiccup. Lastly, we have health risks. If you're unable to work due to an illness or injury, your income could take a hit. Plus, medical bills can stack up faster than pancakes at a breakfast buffet, adding to your financial stress. Each of these risks can have a significant impact on your financial journey. They can delay or even derail your progress towards your financial goals. But don't panic just yet. Remember, every risk carries with it the potential for reward. The key is to understand these risks and prepare for them. Like a chameleon, financial risks can take many forms, but awareness is the first step towards managing them efficiently. So, stay tuned as we delve deeper into how you can evaluate your risk tolerance and effectively manage these risks in our upcoming scene. Now that we know the risks, how much risk can you handle? Let's find out. Risk tolerance, in essence, is about how much financial uncertainty you can stomach. It's like the spice level in your favorite dish. Some of us enjoy a mild salsa, while others can't get enough of those fire-breathing, tear-inducing hot sauces. Similarly, some folks are comfortable with substantial financial fluctuations, while others prefer a more stable and predictable path. Determining your risk tolerance is a bit like a self-discovery journey. It's not just a financial question, but a psychological one too. It's about understanding your fears, your dreams, your goals, and how all of these interact with your money. So, how do you assess your risk tolerance? Well, it's not an exact science, but there are a few strategies you can use. Firstly, consider your financial goals. Are you saving for a down payment on a house, planning for retirement, or hoping to fund your child's education? The time frame for these goals and the amount of money needed can influence your risk tolerance. 
Secondly, think about your financial cushion. Do you have an emergency fund or other savings to fall back on if an investment goes south? Those with a safety net often have a higher tolerance for risk. Thirdly, reflect on your past financial decisions. How did you react during the last market downturn? Did you panic and sell or stay calm and ride it out? Your reactions can provide valuable insights into your risk tolerance. Finally, consider seeking professional advice. Financial advisors can provide valuable insights and help you understand your risk tolerance better. Remember, there's no right or wrong level of risk tolerance, it's personal. What matters is that your financial decisions align with your risk tolerance. If you're a mild salsa person, don't try to force yourself to eat ghost peppers. In the same way, if you're risk averse, don't put all your money in volatile investments. Remember, knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom, especially when it comes to risk tolerance in personal finance. Now let's equip ourselves with the right tools to tackle these risks. Imagine you're a tightrope walker. The rope is your financial journey and the net below, that's your risk management strategies, diversification, insurance, emergency funds, and flexible budgeting. These are not just fancy terms. They are your safety net, ready to catch you when you stumble. Diversification. It's like going to a buffet. You wouldn't just pile your plate with only pasta, would you? Similarly, in finance, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Spread your investments across various asset classes like stocks, bonds, real estate, and more. This way, if one sector takes a hit, your entire portfolio doesn't crash and burn. Next up is insurance. Think of it as your financial bodyguard, providing financial protection against unforeseen circumstances. Health insurance, life insurance, property insurance, these aren't just expenses, they are investments in peace of mind. Then we have the emergency fund, your financial lifeboat. This is a stash of cash that you keep aside for unexpected expenses. So when life throws a financial curveball, a car repair, a medical bill, or a job loss, you're ready to swing and hit it out of the park. Lastly, there's flexible budgeting. It's like your financial yoga, helping you stretch your dollars where it's needed most. It's about having a plan, but also being prepared to adapt when circumstances change. But remember, managing risks isn't a one-size-fits-all game. It's like a tailored suit, it needs to fit you perfectly. What works for your neighbor, best friend, or that finance guru on TV may not work for you. Your financial goals, circumstances, and risk tolerance are unique to you, and your risk management strategies should reflect that. So don't just stand there on the tightrope, staring at the vast expanse below. Equip yourself with a balanced risk management plan and start walking with confidence. Remember, risk management isn't about avoiding risks, but about managing them to work in your favor. In the financial world, risk and reward are two sides of the same coin. Picture this. You're standing in a casino, a stack of chips in hand. You could place it all on red and potentially double your money, or you could walk away, neither richer nor poorer. This is the essence of risk and reward. In finance, the potential for higher returns often comes with increased risk. High-yield investments like stocks can offer lucrative returns but also carry the possibility of substantial loss. On the other hand, safer options like savings accounts or government bonds offer lower returns, but with less risk involved. The key is finding a balance that fits your personal financial goals and risk tolerance. This is a delicate dance, a seesaw of sorts where you're constantly weighing the potential gain against the potential loss. Finding the right balance between risk and reward is like walking a tightrope. It takes skill, patience, and a good sense of balance. Now that we've shared our knowledge, it's time to hear from you. Each of you has a unique financial journey filled with both victories and setbacks, and that's the beauty of it. We all have lessons learned, stories of triumph over financial challenges, and instances where risk took us by surprise. Perhaps you've navigated the choppy waters of market volatility, or you've weathered the storm of an unexpected job loss. Maybe you've had to tighten your budget belt due to sudden expenses. Whatever your story, it is valuable. It's a testament to your resilience, your ability to adapt, and your financial savvy. Sharing your experiences not only enriches your understanding, but it can also help others in their financial journeys. Your story might be the beacon of hope someone needs, the cautionary tale that saves someone from a pitfall, or the inspiration that sparks a brilliant financial strategy. We learn not only from our experiences, but also from the experiences of others. So share your stories and let's learn together. In the spirit of shared learning and mutual growth, we invite you to participate actively in our community. Share your stories, your lessons, and your strategies. Engage in discussions, ask questions, and offer advice. We're all navigating the financial landscape together, 
and your insights could be the guiding light for someone else's journey. And remember, the road to financial wisdom is a never-ending journey, and we're here to accompany you every step of the way. If you found value in our content today, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful videos on personal finance. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know when we upload new content. In this community, we're all students and teachers, constantly learning from each other, so let's continue to share, learn, and grow together. Your story has power, your experiences are valuable, and your participation can make a difference. So let's navigate the tricky world of finance, armed with knowledge, experience, and a shared sense of community. Stay tuned for more and remember the greatest risk is not taking one.